Justin from Woodstock, Georgia. Welcome to Soul Solutions, the show where we overcome our fears and our limiting beliefs. I'm your host, author, and certified life coach, Terry Kozlowski. Episode 76, Why It's Helpful to Clear Your Mind to Center Yourself. Have you seen the new movie, Matrix Resurrections? I saw it with my family over the holidays, and we really enjoyed it. One line the franchise repeats in each of its movies is to free your mind. But what does this mean? The film refers to the ability to see through what you think is real, to be open to infinite possibilities, even ones you feel are unrealistic. I feel many people allow their day-to-day life to become harried, which leads to stress. And once you're on this hamster wheel, the egoic mind takes over by replaying your missteps, indecisions, and what-ifs, which compounds the anxiety you feel. You are concerned about how the past will rear its ugly head or are anxious about your future so that the present moment is lost. So are you in a loop of negative thought patterns? When you're told to let go of the past, it's about understanding why you have those repeated thoughts and then dealing with them. Having a clean slate as you begin the new year also means clearing your mind of these repeating loops to be less stressed and more mindful. The egoic mind laments. Rumination, the repeating loops of negative thoughts. It isn't good for you. In fact, studies have shown that this brooding behavior is the primary predictor of stress. Furthermore, this agonizing introspection has become a silent mental health problem because its effects is often taken too lightly. Don't get me wrong, contemplation is a good thing, but it becomes destructive when the ego takes over. Why? Because the egoic mind only focuses on the negative and cannot remember any of the times you overcame a situation. So it keeps you focused on past events and depresses you. Then it looks at potential effects which make you worry about the future. This hamster wheel of negativity keeps you so preoccupied you don't even realize how it's taking away your serenity in the present moment. Learning to stop rumination is vital to clearing your mind and improving your mental health. Understanding the fullness of presence. Each day, your mind is constantly thinking. You can't erase all the thoughts, but you can stop engaging with them. What do I mean by this? Just because you have an idea doesn't mean you have to allow it to put you into a spiral of anxiety or stress. Remember, you can alter your train of thought. It's your mind. When you are looking forward to reaching a goal, improving your relationships or career, it's all future-based, moving forward. But of course, this forward thinking causes stress and burnout. But remember that to get to where you've envisioned requires you to live and take action in the present moment. Here's the big aha. Ready? When you accept what is, you stop the internal egoic struggle. Acknowledging the situation means you are present and understand that you cannot alter the past. Therefore, you're no longer focusing your attention somewhere that doesn't help. Allowing yourself to pause and become aware of what is cuts the cords of denial and ignorance. This awareness is the act of of mindfulness and practice, and it needs to be done continually. Effects of clearing your mind. When you learn to deal with the negative thought patterns, it leads to positive effects in your life. The first one many see is they feel less worried, which means your body isn't producing cortisol, a hormone released to help deal with stress. Having less cortisol in your system means your blood sugar, is better regulated. As a result, you have less inflammation, which is the underlying cause of all diseases. 
and brain fog decreases. Another benefit is better sleep. Why? Because your mind can now relax instead of being on a negative self-talk loop. It used to be. Therefore, you can fall asleep faster as intrusive thoughts are no longer lingering. It also means undesirable self-talk doesn't begin if you awaken in the middle of the night. With your mind less full of stress and concern, your creativity can blossom. This creative thinking allows for new perspectives, possibilities, and problem-solving capabilities. In addition, with less rumination occurring, your resiliency increases because you can pivot as needed when situations arise. Your authenticity is hidden behind the egoic mind's lies. Having a clear mind allows for the best of you to emerge as it's no longer dealing with confusion and the exasperation of the ego. Letting it go will enable you to live out your dreams. Ways to clear your mind. Although you can't change your past, it's possible to alter your thinking and have positive coping strategies to deal with the egoic mind, mitigating and reducing the stress in your life. For example, learning to be mindful of your thoughts without judging them helps reduce rumination. Here are other ways to help you be more aware. Number one, meditation is a powerful tool to clear your mind. For example, you can repeatedly say in your mind the mantra, so hum, which means I am. Or just breathe by taking three deep breaths to a count of five, hold for a count of five, and release to a count of five. You can have your autotomic nervous system kick in and automatically calm you down. Number two, stay in the present moment. Being mindful means being fully immersed in what you are doing. You are in the flow. You don't notice distractions because you are focused only on the task at hand. Number three, journaling is another potent means of dealing with intrusive thoughts. By getting them down on paper, you can deal with them, find solutions, see they are lies of the ego, and then let them go. Whether you crumble up the paper and throw it away or burn it, this ceremonial act is a great way to release these negative thoughts. Number four, change your focus. Spend time in nature, exercise, lose yourself in a good book, or get creative. Still, when you alter where your mind is focusing, you can stop the rumination in its tracks. When your egoic mind is in a negative loop, get active in ways that bring more positive and enjoyable activities into your life. Number five, connect with your tribe. When you are with those that love and support you, they can help you see a different perspective and get you out of the negativity loop. When the ego is bombarding you with negative self-talk, you isolate yourself, which causes more issues. But keep in mind that you aren't to continually talk about your problems with your tribe. Instead, you connect with them as they will remind you that you're enough, just as you are. How clarity comes to your thinking. Brain fog is a phrase used to label the sense of being mentally sluggish and fuzzy. There is a lack of mental clarity, focus, and memory issues. This haziness can be caused by stress, depression, anxiety, and lack of sleep. Hey, doesn't rumination cause the same thing? Hmm. Clarity comes through your ability to clear your mind and go within yourself to listen to the whispers of your soul. So once you've cleared your mind, get quiet, spend time alone, and listen to your heart. As thoughts come forward, acknowledge them, then release them. Don't allow the egoic mind to take you down a path of what ifs and should haves. As you practice this muscle, you'll gain the upper hand and intrusive thoughts fade away. As you spend this time with yourself, you'll learn who you authentically are. You'll discover what you're passionate about and what direction you should go. See, all the answers you ever need in your life about how you should live, where you should go, are already 
inside of you. All you have to do is clear your mind and hear your soulful voice. Moving forward with a clear mind. The limited egoic mind doesn't solve problems in our lives. Solutions that arise from the soul bring peace, love, and evolution. The seeds which we sow in our hearts reap authentic returns. It's the internal mechanisms of our souls that matter, not the external egoic minds. As life happens, take control of your stress levels, not by allowing the egoic mind to take hold. Instead, become fully present. And when you do, clear your mind and go within so you can find the soulful solutions and live the life of your dreams. As you become more conscious of your thoughts, you can learn to get quiet, go within, and listen to follow the path your soul desires. Do you need help to clear your mind? Do you want a strategy to help you overcome the ego's limiting beliefs and live a successful life? If so, please reach out to me at terrykozlowski.com and we can put together an action plan for you to create the life you desire. If you want to hear how I learned to clear my mind, you can do so by reading my memoir, Raven Transcending Fear, available on Amazon, or go to raventranscendingfear.com for more information. Thanks for listening to Soul Solutions with Terry Kozlowski. If you'd like the show and want to learn more, check out terrykozlowski.com where you can find the links to everything we talked about in this episode. Please subscribe to the show so you'll never miss an episode as we overcome our fears and our limiting beliefs. Thank you.